<clears throat> hey, JVix here at JVI Mobile Marketing. Today, I want to take a quick minute and talk a little bit more about defining your ideal customer avatar. It's a workshop that we're going to be presenting next week on. So I figured I'd make a quick little video since the blog you're reading talks about the avatar, the customer value journey, and our process for helping businesses find more strangers and turn them into raving fans. When we think about the customer avatar, it goes a lot more than demographics, right? We don't just want to know what their interests are and how much money they make and what gender they are um, and if they're married or not. What we want to look at is actually what's called the psychographics. And before we get into that, what we should really ask ourselves is, or, or tell ourselves, and, and I tell this to clients all the time, I say, think of your perfect client, right? We all have that one client where you're like, gosh, I just love working with this person. Like every time they come in, they they, they just don't hassle me. They, they, they're they easy to work with. They're easy to deal with. They, they, they spend money, right? Um, and what I always say is, close your eyes and think about that customer. Now, if you can say or have said, man, I wish I could have a hundred more customers just like that, right? Then make that person your ideal avatar. And you have to write it out. We use a uh, avatar worksheet and we also do something called the before and after grid. Now the before and after grid, I'm gonna talk about in a separate video. But when we look at things like the customer avatar, the first thing we do is we get all of that basic demographic stuff I was talking about out of the way. But we want to go more than just the demographics there. We also want to figure out what books and magazines do they read? What websites do they visit? What are what associations or trade organizations uh, do they follow or are they a member of? Right. Um, are there any influencers in the space? Are there any people that they follow? Those are all really great avatar uh, demographic types of data. We want to go beyond that, though. We go and we look next, we look at their frustrations and fears. What keeps them up at night? Right? What are they struggling with? What would be so humiliating that they just, at all costs, with your product or service, they are trying to avoid, right? So something that would humiliate them and they want to avoid, um, you know, that's a pain point. So those are the pain points, the frustrations and fears. And then we conversely, we look at the wants and aspirations. It's pretty much the opposite of frustrations and fears. What do they want? What do they want for their, for their friends and family? Right? What do they want um, to, to, to happen in their life or with your product that's going to make life better? Right? We, we often talk about the transformations uh, that, that our products and services provide. And the last thing we look at in our customer avatar before we do our before and after grid are key purchase drivers, right? So things like what, what is going to make, what are some must have features? What are some must have uh, things when it comes to service? What are the things that, what are the common objections that they might have or that, that you might hear? And it all has to do with your service versus your competitor service. Once we've documented all of that, then we take a few minutes, we read it over, and we move into our before and after grid. So the next video is going to be on the before and after grid, and we're going to talk about our most important golden rule when it comes to finding out what our customer wants. And the golden rule is that people don't buy your products or services. They buy transformations. I'll say it one more time and call it a wrap for the day. Think about this. People don't buy products and services, they buy transformations. I didn't make it up, but it's a, definitely a golden rule to live by when we're talking about finding our perfect audience. Until then, Jay Vicks with JVI Mobile Marketing. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.